This tutorial demonstrates a way to analyze peak data in which the desired peaks fall in the same X range for each data set. To demonstrate, I start with a simple data set consisting of 100 points that contains four peaks. I have it plotted to the right of my screen. I'll go to the analysis menu, select peak and baseline, peak analyzer, and open the dialog to begin the analysis. I want to integrate these peaks and I will use the default baseline option since this data is very clean and has a constant baseline. I will use Origin's Auto Finder to find my peaks because they're again situated in clean data and I don't need to do any advanced peak filtering or finding. However, the key to making this method work is unchecking the uh, Enable Auto Find option before moving on. If you leave AutoFind checked, subsequent data sets will be auto-adjusted by origin and peaks may or may not be found depending on their height. So it is important that this box be unchecked before moving on. On the final page where the integration options are listed, it is also important to select one of the second two options as you would do not want origin to try to rescale the integration window either. You want to be able to set this or have a fixed width before moving on and saving your options as a theme. I'm now resizing the windows over which I want my peaks integrated directly on the graph as I want the tails of these peaks to also be caught by the area calculation. So now I have my windows adjusted and before I select finish to complete the analysis I want to save this theme, this set of options for PA so that I can use it on subsequent data sets. So I'll call this PA X region. Now I can select finish complete the analysis. Notice that I get a result with four peak areas, row indices, beginning and ending X values, etc. as I stipulated in the uh, PA output. Next I'd like to perform a similar operation but now on the same data set that's been interpolated to a 1000 point data set. First, I'll plot the data as a line plot. And the idea here is to demonstrate that origin will indeed honor the x values in this analysis and not simply use row indices to calculate the, the peak positions and the peak widths. So now, since I have my theme saved, I simply go to Peak Analyzer, find the theme that I want, select it, and the analysis proceeds automatically. You can see from the result, again, there are four peak areas. Those areas are the same as previous, which makes sense. It's the same X and Y, but a different number of X points. But the row index now is about 10 times that, these four values, of the previous values, which we'd expect because now we have 10 times as many X points. In another example, uh, I would take the 1,000-point data set, but now you can see I've eliminated one of the peaks. So we essentially have a zero peak, and we'll see how Origin deals with that. Again, select Peak Analyzer, select the same theme, and indeed you see the markers are there, the peak is gone, the markers appear for the other peaks. And the data reflects what it should, namely that the first peak has an area of zero. The other peaks have, simi have the similar, the same areas as before, the same row indices uh, of the peak center. So uh, the data is handled correctly, and uh, origin with the auto find box unchecked 
will use the X values for your master or template data set and apply that to future data sets, which is valuable for certain types of data in spectroscopy or chromatography. This ends this tutorial. Thank you for watching.